Hi there, welcome back to Pretty Much Flawless. Today in this video, we're going to be discussing the circuit on this flux capacitor here. So, for your full understanding, I'd recommend you go back and watch my first video on building this flux capacitor here. I'll have a link to that in the description down below. So, it takes quite a bit of engineering to make a circuit board stand 1.21 gigawatts. So you better stay tuned for that. Let's get into it. Alright, we'll begin by t taking a look at the control board for the flux capacitor circuit. But what's this? This isn't on a perf board. This is a high quality, custom built PCB. Let's say you wanted one of your projects to use a custom PCB like this. Where would you go? Check out PCBUA. They make custom PCBs for your projects. Design and upload your Gerber files on the website. Wait a few days for your PCBs to come. And that's not all they do. They also do CNC machining, 3D printing, sheet metal fabrication, and injection molding. Check out their website. There'll be a link to that in the description down below. And if you're looking to make your own PCBs, I'd really recommend using PCBWay. And look forward to using them again in the future. Alright, here's the diagram. We will begin on the left. There is the triple five timer. I won't go into detail about the five 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 timer wiring in this video, but if you'd like to learn more about what the timer is doing, look up five 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 timer a stable mode. The five 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 is generating a pulse width modulation signal that its frequency or herdage can be adjusted by the variable resistor. Then the signal is fed into the clock pin of the CD forty seventeen. The CD4017 chip, each time it receives a pulse on the clock pin, it will apply power to the next output pin. For example, if the pin Q0 was on, then pin Q1 would turn on. The output pin that was on at the time would go through a current limiting resistor that would feed into the base of a transistor, turning on and allowing power to flow from the collector to the emitter turning on the LEDs connected to the transistor. Thanks for watching this video today. Hope you learned something. If you did, please subscribe. That would really help my channel. And I'll see you next time.